What up, world? It's your boy, Mark Wall Awards, Super Fact Show, Super Fast Network. Today, we got with us a, a multi-talented actress, model, uh, and, and most prominently musician, Mila Baby. How you doing today? What's up, guys? This is Mila Baby uh, from China. <laughs> thank so you, you. Thank you for inviting me here. Oh, thank you. Thank you for joining us. It's my, it's my pleasure. <laughs> so so, yeah. so you, you, just, you just got there, right? Yes, Hong Kong. Yes, I just back uh, Hong Kong from New York. And that's that's like a really long flight, right? Seventeen hours. I was like, oh my god! I, you know, I cannot fall asleep, and uh, it's cold. Uh, I wear like a summer, but uh, you know, everybody is more smart than me. They just wear a lot, but me just so cold. Oh uh, yeah, and, they, <laughs> they, and, and, and the airplane only got them little tiny ass blankets, right? Mm, yeah, it's all right, but it's just cold and it's super tired. Yes, yeah, super tired. And and then so you get there, and, and I didn't know this, but you just told me, so you, you got to be quarantined for a week? Yes, quarantine hotel one week. I cannot walk out. Every day, the people, they will just put food, uh, leave food in front of your door, and they will knock your door. You heard the voice. You can open the door, get your food, and you have, mm. have to... Just close your door very quick, and you have to wear a mask. Damn. What What are you doing to yes. keep yourself entertained in there? Uh, listen music, sleep. I don't know. Look in the mirror, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know. Just to write the new songs because I got some new beat, you know, for my new songs. So I'm just think about that, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's It's a little bit boring for sure. For sure. Oh, I'm sure. I'm, I'm absolutely sure. Yeah. Since, since you mentioned um new music, hold on, let me get to your Instagram real quick. I, I saw okay. on um I saw I saw an IG. You were uh it looked like you were recording a video, and uh saying that you uh were, were were working on new music. I see your last album was um you know about three years ago, but last year you must have had like at least ten singles. So um you know, quick question being, you you uh you, you're working on a, on a new project. Yeah, I just got a new beat, actually two, two, two beats. So I'm right now just working on the lyrics and uh, just get the feeling of the beat, you know, try to put all my feeling, you know, just put it in the song. Still getting to know the beat. Um, well, I wasn't going to get to the music yet, but real quick, uh, I, I can definitely tell you, you, you put feeling in your personality and your music. You know, it's not just oh. generic trying to sound like everybody else or anything. And and not just because of like the, uh, you know, the uniqueness of, of, of the the mixture of cultures. Like like if you were just rapping all English or all Chinese, I still feel like, you know, your personality yeah. comes through. Yeah, it's very different when you work on something like a bilingual rap. It's, it's very different. People can feel it's different. And uh, I, I like the way. I, I do too. I do too. But, but but before we get to the music, you know, I still got a couple questions. Like like you, you definitely yeah, know sure. how to you definitely know how to dress real good from accessories to outfits. <laughs> like 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 the well, like, I, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> oh no, you 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 you're doing it. Like like for one thing, I noticed your 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 earring game is is, is nice. You, you know what I'm saying? Like like you know how to accessorize well. Like it's easy to uh yeah. to come up with, with good looking outfits, especially when you're an attractive woman. So like I kind of feel that the the what separates the, the people that truly got style is, is the accessories. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. So that being yeah. said, though, I, I'm curious. Do, do you, like you said, you was just coming from Manhattan, and I know there's awesome shopping in Manhattan, but I also know that there's, yeah. there's great shopping in Hong Kong. What, 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 who yes. do you think has got better fashion, America or China? Um, it's different, of course. And uh, in America, of course, people's minds are more open. And in China... It's more clothes, mine is more clothes. It's like some clothes maybe I can wear and walking on the, um, like my heart is straight or something. But uh, in China, you just can't because, you know, people may be judged or something like that. Wow. They were thinking, like, oh my God, what is she wearing right now? You know, like that. But uh, Hong Kong is super open. The mind is very open. And uh, yeah, I've been here right now. It's like a uh, third time for me to be here. Yeah. So, but I, I like, I like both. I like China's culture. I like China's fashion. I like, um, like, uh, Western countries fashion. They're different, but they, I just love them both. Yeah. 
Um, me too. Me too. Uh, I, I definitely yes. love. I definitely love when the West and the East come together, fashion-wise. That that, that like like exactly. or some shit. Like it yes. always seems to work out great. You know, yeah, you know. it's it's very when you put those two cultures together, no matter it's uh, music or fashion or I don't know something others, just uh, like uh, so unique. You know. I, I guess we're just gonna jump jump all over the place. It's gonna be more like a conversation and interview because since you brought that up, uh, talking about okay. East meets West, real good. Um, I love that song you did with Solomon Childs of, of the Wu Tang family. Oh, oh yeah, uh, 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 yeah, hustle, hustle better, hustle, hustle better, yeah. Yes, so just yes. out of curiosity, how, how did that come about? Uh, um, so my agent Rick Boston, um, he reached to me say, "Hey, Solomon Child, you guys should work one song together." I was like, "Yeah, of course," and um, um, then. I got the beat, I read the lyrics, you know, just everything is very smooth, you know, it's just one or two days come out, everything, and um, and I like the song. Yeah, I really yeah. like the song. Yes. And of course, that I put my style, like um, Chinese and uh, English all together. That's my song style. I mix those two together. Yeah, that's me. That's like a Mila baby. So, yeah, I really like it. Yeah, um, I mean, that there's definitely no one else doing it so shit that keep keep on going with that um you know to go go into your uh, well actually i got another question what, what what are some of the we can say ignorant things or misconceptions that, that americans assume about china because what, I, I, what, what uh -huh. are some of like the misconceptions or ignorant things that americans assume about china because i know we're not getting the real story on the news because it seems like now they're trying to make it seem like Chinese people are our enemies. And I, I'll tell you, me personally, I've never had a problem with a Chinese person. Okay. <laughs> so you, you are asking me how Chinese people think about, like, uh, American people or something? No, 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 no. How do American people, like, like what, what, what do they get wrong? Because they're teaching us wrong. You know, they're, they're trying to make Chinese and Americans the enemy, at least in America. So okay. I, and, and I know the news don't tell us the truth. So I'm curious, well, like, 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 what it's really like. I got you. First, this is very sensitive talking. <laughs> yeah, I um, yeah. I, to be honest, I don't really how to say. I don't really uh, watching those kind of news. I don't. I don't focus on that, and I don't listen to that. And like you say, news is not all true. So I know that. So I won't care about what what people talk about in the news. You know. So, you know, when, when I'm home, like, a, because I live in Beijing, right, the capital of China, when I'm home, no matter when I'm working or not, I never go to some, like, a news website to look into it, like, what's happened between USA and, um, and, and China or something. I just don't. It's not I don't care, but uh, I no, just I think, feel, I think that's you know, good. I think that because they're trying to make us enemies, and, and I want to be your friend. I don't want to be your enemy. <laughs> Really, really, uh, the news, you know, is for people who want to believe something they, they don't know, you know, and uh, they have no way to know. I think this is very complicated, so I don't want to go to look into it. I don't want to listen it. Every time when people bring out, say, hey, Mila, how do you think about this, you know, about this country and that country? I just say, I don't want to talk about that, and uh, I just have no words for that. Uh, you, 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 you know what I say in those situations a lot? I, I just say I want people to be safe. And, and no one can yeah, ever really get same. mad at you for saying that, you know? Yes, and uh, and I guess why even something is real, but the, the government's thinking is not uh, everybody's thinking, not the normal people's thinking, you know, it's different. So yeah. you cannot put everything together. Yeah. So, you know, a, a little bit a little bit more into your, in your personal history in China. Um, you, you're from a small town, it says in your biography. And uh, yes. I'm curious... It says that you were the director of entertainment for the Department of the Student Union, and and I got mm -hmm. I, I kind of took from the way that it, it was worded that that's a big honor. Can you explain to me like what that job is and, and what you did? You mean when I was in school? Yeah, the when you were the director of entertainment for the Department of okay. the Student Union for like yeah, eleven years or something. Um, my my job is just like um. Uh, help school set up all the like school concerts and uh, just do everything about music, everything about uh, music, dancing, just like uh, around music, everything like that. So that's my job. And that, that, that must have been hella, hella rewarding. That, that must feel good to do that. 
it's so good and you feel proud it's like you walking in the school it just stands so straight you know it's like uh, it's so good and everybody wants to be you and everybody they just want you pick up them every time if we have some concert they just want me to pick them up you know to do to like a dance or sing or something so it's a very cool job and that do make you like better in yeah. any different way yeah they, they, they say that, it, that the best way to get better at something is to teach people what you know huh? that's true yes <laughs> and, and speaking of which i saw that you were teaching a hip-hop class what was that I in america or was that in china no, it's in China and in the capital of Beijing. Uh, you do know Beijing, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so that's a music. Um, uh, it's a music company, and uh, all the people they just um, they love hip hop and they want to study because, uh, of course, people don't teach hip hop in normal music university. Right. You know. Yes. So those kids, they like super rich. They are like uh, from thirteen years old to like 16 years old so they their parents send them to the company and they need to study hip-hop they don't know how to come on lyrics or like uh, make a flow when they listen a beat everything and um, just they need to know everything about hip-hop so i was teaching them like maybe four classes a week and every every class is like um, 45 minutes yeah did you and see a lot after, of improvement? Yeah, and uh, it, it's fun. It's super fun. It's a new thing for me to do. I still remember the first class. I was a little bit nervous, you know, because it's different. You being a teacher and you perform on stage is so different. So it's totally different thing. So I was a little bit nervous, but everything's, good. everything's so good. And I did my job. Um, and after you teach them everything, they will like um, make their own song and uh, my job also my job bring them to some like a uh, hip hop competition you know so it's like that man man that 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 that, that speaks really well of you that, that, that's something i don't know i don't know if you caught this but that's something a good person would say because if, if you get nervous performing you're letting yourself down but if you're getting nervous about teaching, you're worried about letting those kids down, and that and that speaks well of you. So salute to you for that. Yeah, I you know I I never got nervous in my perform, you know. But uh, when when you know you you will bring people their future, you teach them something because if you are bad, they will be bad. If you are good, they will be good. So it's I I won't say their future is on my hand, but uh, you know that's the first time for them to touch hip hop. It's very important what they got. You know, what are they nerve or something that make me a little bit nervous because I care about, you know, what are they study and, um, and just everything about that. That make me a little bit nervous. But, you know, everything is good. I love my students and they love me, of course. So I'm happy about that. And I'm yeah. still doing it. Yes, I'm still doing it. Good, good, good. Shit. I mean, yeah. we, we need stuff like that because even if they don't become rappers or work in the music industry that type of stuff gives kids kids confidence and anything that gives children confidence i'm all about that my wife's a teacher so you, you know oh really oh, yeah, is it about hip-hop too oh no 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 she teaches uh um special needs kids oh yeah because hip-hop is just the uh it's it's growing in china right now those two years past uh, three or two years grows very fast you know so uh, all the kids they just special like um, um like high school kids or middle school. They just want to learn this, yeah. So so many music companies they just um, open and they're trying to, uh, like uh, do this business, make this money or something, you know, raise this kind of rappers, yeah. So many. Now you you, you know I, I'm not trying to be like no creep or nothing, but obviously you're you're a beautiful woman, and and I'm curious, are, are men intimidated by your beauty? Uh, what what what's that about? Like, are you so attractive that guys are scared to approach you? Well, to be honest, um, how I say about that, let's say like this: when, every time when when I go to meet some clients about my cancer. Or when some some people come to look at my Instagram, or like uh, um, even some clients invite me to some performance to perform for them. At the beginning, they even don't know my music. They even don't care about my music. 
mm. is about how I look, you know. There, you there are some, huh? yeah, there are some clients, they, this tree tell me, they say, Mila, I don't know hip hop. I even don't love hip hop. And I don't know your songs. I don't know English. I don't know what are you talking about in your song. But you're beautiful. So we want to perform here. It's like, you know, but um, for me, I don't know this is a good or bad, but, um, you know, <clears throat> both ways, I guess. I mean, I, I, I guess it's somewhat bad, but make it a good thing because every time you do that, that is opportunity for you to get actual fans of your music. Yes, yes, because uh, uh, that that do will like uh, your beauty or something. They will open some windows for you. You know, that's a chance. But the bad way is, I hope people can focus on my music. You know, not a me or some. And uh, you know, sometimes the winner clients they make the flyer for me. They want the those words they put on the flyer. They won't focus on my music. They will focus on my looking. Like what words they put on the flyers. Mm. Is is that will bother me a little bit? I always tell them, you know, I'm. I tell them I'm a musician. I'm not like an Instagram model right. or Instagram star or something. You need to focus on my music. You know, yeah, it's like that. So no, it's I, good, I, I, but it's I, bad. I, I I agree. Your music deserves to be focused on. It's, you're not just you know. Uh, signed and 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 you know making yes. your way in your career because of how you look so so yeah. I, I i was definitely curious that how has it been for you transitioning to the american market um well this time is the first time for me to go there so i'm very excited but uh, before i went there i was talking with some like um uh, musicians rappers from um america but we never met, never met like face to face. We just talk on Instagram and we even have songs together. So <clears throat> I always want to go America, but um, it's very hard for me to get a visa, you know, because of COVID. Right. So it's very hard. But this time, finally, you know, I got my visa. So I was, I cannot just like, wait. I cannot wait. I just, you know, so exciting fly there. Yeah. So I always want to go there, check out because, you know, that's like, um, where hip hop is popular, and uh, you know, I want to say the biggest hip hop market. That's where I want to go. I even think about move there. I probably will move to America. You know, <laughs> seriously. Hey. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, you, you probably gonna have to if, if if you keep taking off. Are you gonna um be be releasing any videos? Because I, I couldn't find any videos from you. Oh, I do have a music video. Yes, I do have. Like oh, okay. on YouTube. What, what, um, like, for, for which songs? Let me write it down because I'll make sure I put it in the post. Okay, you you can try the song called Dogs. Okay, Dogs. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Good. I That's do have stuff. a music video for that. <clears throat> and so uh, another thing I saw, you learned how to speak Russian. Yeah, but you too, <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Well, see, I, I was going to ask you how to say super facts in Russian and Chinese. If you don't know it in Russian, that's cool. But do you not know say super facts in Chinese? Well, it, well I, I, I know you know how to. Is there, is there words for it? Super facts, like the name of my show. Uh, you, you know, it's like a, I was studying Russia in like a language university. Um, but, you know, when, when you don't speak, like you will begin to forget the words. Right. So that's the part. Uh, it's very hard. Uh, when I was studying Russia, my Russia is better than English. But right now, my English is it's better, better than my Russia. Yeah. But uh, I still hope my English, everybody can understand. You know, sometimes I think my English is so bad. <laughs> no, no, it's not, it's, it's not that bad. I mean, it was, it's not bad at all, um, obviously. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 I'm always honest. It, it, it could get better, but so can my yes. English. You know what I mean? And then on top of that, yeah. I, I, I don't speak no other languages. So I, 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 it kills me how Americans like make fun of people with accents or act like people are, are, are stupid when they don't know English fully, but the person they're talking about yes. knows, like, knows like five yes. languages. Yes. It's like, a, you know, I was like, why don't study Chinese? Why don't talk with me with Chinese, you know? And, 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 and like, so like you should never be embarrassed for trying, not saying that you are. It's because to me, that's almost like the exercise thing. I know it's like a lot of people, like my, my one of my daughters, like people don't like exercising yes. around other people. But you should never be well, ashamed, I, ashamed of trying to do, of, of improving yourself. Yes, you know, it's, I, it's, it's a I shame we feel guilty about that. Of course, I don't feel embarrassing at all. Actually, sometimes I think my English is very cute. 
it's like kids English or something. But uh, I, I do hope people can understand my English when I like sing in my song, you know, that's different when I talk to people. So because I hope people can understand. I, I could understand and, uh, you know, it, it, if they don't the first time, they, they, they'll get it the second or third time. I mean, a lot of times, like somebody like Kodak Black, his accent so uh -huh. thick to somebody from California that, that they need to listen to it like three, four times to understand. Okay. So, so you, don't, yeah. you, don't, you, don't, you don't got nothing to worry about in, 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 that, in that avenue at all. Um, well, I, I, I love my English. <laughs> like I say, it's cute. <laughs> I, I totally agree. So, so, you know, one of your songs, I really like Bridge Girl, but it says rap version. Oh. Is there a, is there a non-rap version floating around somewhere? Because I'd love to hear it. Okay, this song actually is a slow love motion song. It's slow and it's like R&B and it's about love, you know, but uh, that's not my style. So I was like a remix, remix the beat and the remix everything. Then make that as a, like a hip hop song. Yes, it's like that. Oh, okay. I got you. I got you. So, so the original one is nothing like the the one I have. It's nothing like it's it's so different. Got you. Got you. So it was it wasn't like one of your songs you remade. You turned another song into a rap song. Got you. Yes. Yes. To be honest, I even don't like the original one. <laughs> hey, tell the truth, shame the devil. That's what they say. Well, yes. you, know, you know, you know, another genre that was that was really really good to me was I am, and I'm curious how successful was oh. that overseas. Uh, you mean China? China. Okay. Um, of course, people love it because, you know, that's mixed Chinese, some Chinese culture inside. Chinese people always love to listen to that. Um, so we, I was singing with two girls. Of course, you can tell that from the cover. Yeah, they, they are my friends and they study like a um, Chinese opera and uh, like a pop you know, they're not rappers. And uh, we just mix our style together. And um, that's the first time I work with those girls. It's very good. And I love it. Yes. Now, yeah, I, th I thought it came out well. Like, I have no idea what your plans are, but uh, if y'all yeah. make more music together, it, it wouldn't be a bad thing. About yes, that. we do. Actually, they're waiting for me for the music video. But I... I was in America like uh, over three months. They was a little bit, oh my God, Mila, will you come back? We're waiting for you. Okay, well, shoot, we'll definitely be looking forward to that. Uh, another yes. one, to tell, mm -hmm. me if I'm, tell me if I'm wrong or, or, or right about this, but I kind of got the, because you know, I don't understand Chinese, so I don't catch everything. But uh, okay. it, I, I kind of feel like it's my time, like, like really, really showed who you are as a person. Oh, okay. But I yeah. could be wrong, so you tell me. That song, well, to be honest, I like I like uh, all my songs. <laughs> uh, so that song is yes, is like um um all the lyrics is about my thinking. Um, all my songs, they you know I write my own lyrics, right? So all the songs are real story and. Um, like um, I write my real thinking. So it's like people always ask me, Mila, what kind of person you are? And, uh, you know, like that, how can I get to know you? I was like, go listen to my song, go listen to lyrics, you know, because uh, they are my real thinking and they are real me. I won't lie in my song. So, so it's my time. The lyrics, you can tell, yeah, it's my own thinking and like about everything. Yeah. Well, I... I it seems to me that like you're really ambitious and, and I feel like that was really captured and, and it's my time. Yeah, I'm even thinking about, I, I, you know, I didn't do like a musical video about the song yet because I want to make a very good one and showing myself and showing the real me, you know, it's, so that will be a big work for me. And uh, this song, to be honest, I never performed this song, never. I really? don't know why, I just never did, yes. Since I have this song, I never performed that one. Ah, well, yeah, I, I guess it's long overdue. I was gonna ask you about that too. Like most of your music seems really fun, so I, I imagine your concerts must be a good time. Yeah, you you can tell all my songs is about girl and a guy. You know, like a love relationship. You know, it's all about that. So when I sing, you know, it's uh, that's that's uh, all my thinking. Is everything in my mind is about love, about uh, like a uh, uh, relationship, you know. So uh, when I perform all my songs, people can tell like uh, love is very important for me, 
and that I won't think about other stuff. That's everything in my song. And when I perform, uh, people love to choose some happy songs or like EDM, EDM hip hop, or like uh, people want to listen to the song, they want to dance. For example, why I never perform is my time. It's uh, that song is not for party. It's not for right. you want to dance, you want to move, and they are all English. So many of my fans, they don't understand. They cannot feel it. They cannot feel my like my thinking, you know? So I rather don't sing that song. Well, you know, maybe, maybe when you're performing at like a Grammy hip hop club in New York, you know, that'd be the right place for it. That's true. That's true. Yes. <laughs> it's, always, it's always about where you're at. Um, you, yeah. you were talking about how, uh, well, actually, let me know. I'm not even going to say it this way. Just out of curiosity, what, what was the what was the reaction to my China Kitty in, in China? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay, uh, it's very funny because uh, first, of course, people don't understand English. I mean, not everyone. Right. So, like every time when I perform that song, people be so happy. But to be honest, they don't know what's my lyrics. You know, they just don't understand. But when people like uh, uh, listen online. I see all the comments. They was like, oh my God, so sexual. And it's like, hmm, this is so Mila. This is Mila. This is Mila, baby. It's, they already know me, you know. That song is my style. You, even other songs, the, the lyrics, they almost like same same way, but with different words. So, yeah, I love that song. And um, mm, that's one of my songs. Like, uh, all my fans, they just like it and they listen a lot. And when I perform, um, people will ask me to do that song. Um, you know, you know, some people, I forgot what word you just used, but some people might say it's like vulgar or whatever. But uh, I, I feel it's empowering. They will say what? They might say it's vulgar. Um, what's a synonym? Uh, too sexual, I guess. But uh, okay. But 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 like 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 to me, like I said. I, I, Do you think I, it's I, too sexual? Not at all. I, I think it's empowering. Like, like I think, yeah, it, it's taking ownership. Um, you, you know, like, like yes. it, it's it's you being yourself, and, and there's never nothing wrong with that. Well, and, to be and, honest, and I, and I didn't think know. it was vulgar. I didn't think it was vulgar, vulgar too sexual at all. No, but um, like, that's why I was asking about the reaction though, because I kind of got the impression that uh, things in China might be a little more uh, uptight about about things of that nature. Yeah, but uh, you you do need to know it's not uh, like I said it's not everybody can understand English. So when they listen, they just don't know they don't know what I'm talking about in the song. But they can feel the feel the feeling. They can feel the vibe. They they know this song is very sexual. And uh, like you said, this is me. This is Mila, baby. That's that when I hear one beat, when I write my lyrics, you know, all the words come out from my head. They were just straight. It's like my thinking. So, so that's real me. So I love this kind of song. And uh, that's my style. That's just my style. You know, some people, it's like against the rapper. They talk about who. They talk about like fighting or whatever. And some people, they would talk about uh, like uh, what's in their life. And uh, my style is like talk about love. Like I said, talk about this kind of stuff. So that's just me. That's my style. Yeah, because I mean, like, like sexual doesn't mean that, that you're like a prostitute. Like, like I mean, married people are sexual, you know. Like, like, like. I think a, there I needs think to be music for everything, you know. I think uh, sexual is uh, is cute. Uh, just uh, is all depends to you, right? It's cute and it's like um, art, and uh, it's beautiful. It's uh, it's not uh, like dirty or something. Right. You know, it's it's about how you think about that. See that okay? That's what vulgar means. Vulgar is when, uh, like, like when when you when sexuality is dirty. You see, my English is still is not good yet because I don't know this word. <laughs> hey, hey, that's cool because yeah. you, you you're teaching me a lot. It's it's a beautiful thing when people can learn from each other. You know. Yes, yes. I I totally I totally understand how people will think about this song. But even in China, you know, I have some like uh, uh I have so many friends from like uh. West the country and the when they listen to my song, they would think they say, Mila, your song is so sexual and um, like how you release it in China. To be honest, I have half song cannot release in China because my lyrics and uh, like you asked me why you don't have so you don't have many like music video. 
Do you know why I don't want to do that? Because every time when I choose the clothes I want to wear in the music video, but because I'm in China, I just cannot wear it. So I I just oh. rather don't make it, you know, because yeah, I have to wear something. Maybe it's not a Mila or it's not my style, you know. It's, it's only for make somebody happy. Then I don't want to do it. Yeah, you're too so, authentic for that. Yeah, in that's that's another reason I want to push myself in America because um, I want to be real me. I want to be real Mila baby. It's like in in China. Um, I mean, we we have our way to run this country, right? And uh, I believe it's the right way. It's it's fit our country. Um, but for my music, I'm if I want to grow grow and be somebody like I want to be and make my dream come true. I have to be myself. And that's the only one way to make yourself happy. You know, you have to be yourself. If I cannot uh, like uh, uh, say something in my song or if I cannot wear some clothes, then I just don't want to do that. And I, that's, I could totally that's, understand that. Yeah, that's a little bit sad. Yeah, well, I mean, may, may, maybe you'll be like Bruce Lee. You'll get all that success in America and then come back to China and be able to do what you well, want. Yeah, you're so smart. That's my dream. <laughs> That's yeah. my dream. It's um, like a hip hop, hip hop blues lead, you know. Yeah, I mean, why not? Why not? I mean, a a anything's yeah. possible. Hey, just out of curiosity, yeah. on Spotify, you got uh two songs with Chinese titles. Um, I'm, I'm curious, what 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 do they translate to in English? Oh, you you can play it, so I can listen. Uh. I couldn't cause because messed I, it up. I don't know. I, I, I don't know which two songs you're talking about. Oh. Let me see. Oh, this is the bridge girl. Okay, and then yeah, the other one is uh. Oh, that's the the queen bee. Yeah, queen bee. The the Chinese means queen bee. Okay. That man, I, I love the beat on that. Now, I like all your beats. You got you got good you got good ear for beats, but I really like the uh, queen bee one. All right, yeah, I that song, you know, like all my people love it, and uh, I perform that song like every time, every time, nearly every time. Do you ever? It's perform? like people, people want to dance, people want to move, and the people want to feel it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Do, do you ever perform your, your, your part, your part uh, from that that feature you did, the Jing? Um, you mean the Jing? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, I always perform that song. It's called the Jing. Uh, yeah, that's what it is on Spotify. Yeah, I always perform that song. Yes. Yeah, the Jing from uh shows featuring Miller Baby. Oh. Yes, yes. Yeah, I really, I, I really like that one too, and like I liked how it uh you know kind of gave an insight into into some of Chinese culture. Like like I said, I, I like learning about new shit. Yeah, that that song is uh, that song is about uh, like uh, Beijing, the the capital of China, where, where which is where I live. Yeah, it's about that city because uh, me and the Chills, we love this city, and uh, he was lived there too. But right now he moved back to Pennsylvania. Actually, my new song is uh, with he again. Okay, that's what's up. Um, and, yeah. and and then finally, just a couple uh, little questions to get to know you. What, what, what's your favorite pair of sunglasses or favorite brand of sunglasses? I don't have. I don't no. have a favorite brand. No. Even you like, you, even you ask me, what's your favorite book? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite, I don't know, like sports or whatever. I don't have. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm trying to do everything. And if it's good, I will wear it. I, if it's a good movie, I will watch it. But uh, do I have a favorite one? I don't have. What's the last good movie you watch? Uh, I think it's from Disney. <laughs> Which one I from really Disney? like it. I really like Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh yeah, me too. Me too. I really I, love the movie. Yes. I got a nine-year-old daughter. I'm all about Little Mermaid. I, I watched that maybe like oh. ten days ago. Oh really? I watched that like two days ago, and right now those two days, today and yesterday, I'm working on my music, so I didn't watch any movie. Yeah, and I just arrived Hong Kong. My time is still like American time. I cannot fall asleep at night. I sleep at at the daytime. You know, my time is totally is wrong. It's so wrong. Yeah, uh, are you in any type of fitness? Um. Yeah. 
please elaborate. I'm a big exercise guy. I love I love hearing how people work out. Like what kind of workout you like? What kind of workout I like? Um, uh, boxing, weightlifting. Uh, okay. Bands. I do all kinds of stuff. I, I like squats. I guess you know that's a good way to work out. And um, I like a running on the treadmill. That's what I like. Okay. Yeah. I, I mess with the yeah. elliptical. I, I, I don't know how old you think I am, but I'm I'm, a, I'm in like my mid forties and uh my my knees can't handle the treadmill no more, so I gotta use the elliptical. Yeah, that's all cool. Well, right now I just I didn't touch any sports like um four months already. Oh wow! So I I probably very weak right now. <laughs> that means you was having fun in America. Yes, I do. Like. Uh, shopping and knowing the people oh my god it's such a good time there i know you know it's first time for me to be there but i really love there my first station is california then i go to mexico i i should say i went to mexico i went to mexico then california then chicago and then pennsylvania and new york you know and even other cities just people are so nice to me, so nice, no matter I know them or some like people I even don't know, like uh, on the road or in the airport or something, just help me a lot. And uh, those people I was talking online on Instagram and then we finally see each other face to face, you know, people are so nice. And uh, I met so many new friends, made the new friends, just so smooth and um, mm. so good. I, I even can't, I have no words to speak about my history there. <laughs> Not the three months. I love it. I just love it and I enjoy. Awesome, man. I'm glad, I'm glad you had such a great time. And um, Yes. You, and you, the shopping. You, you know, girls love shopping. So it's shopping. And uh, every time I see some like uh, buildings, because, you know, in China, our buildings are different. So right. like most of the buildings. I was like, oh, my God, it's so beautiful. You know, it's like just so good. And uh when I was in Manhattan, you know, I was, oh my God, I was yeah, so I know, excited. Right? Every, day sh every day shopping. <laughs> every day is shopping. You know, I, I saw on your IG, you, you you was definitely doing it up in Manhattan. Yes, yes. I just stay there and I lose my mind. I forget what's my name, to be honest. <laughs> so it's like a every day shopping and I go to, you know, so many like straight artists, like a dancer or some like, I'm gonna play guitars or something or sing on the street. They're so good, you know. I took so many photos, videos, and of course, they give me a lot of idea about my songs. That's the one thing about I love travel. So uh, when you look at different city and look at different people, they give you so many ideas about your song, what you can put in your song, you know, make your song will be more funny, not that boring. Work. So I love it. That's smart. Yeah. Hey, here's another word for you. Those street artists, that's called busking. Yeah. B-U-S-K-I-N-G. And uh Okay, teacher. <laughs> and, and you know when they got the hat or the the guitar case and you put money in? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's busking. They call that busking. Busking. Yeah. You see, so maybe next time I'll put this word in my song. Busking. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, the culture exchange is working, it's working out love, man. Thank you so much, Mila Baby. Yeah, thank you. Teach me all the two words. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. Uh, last That's thing, uh, can you uh, tell us your uh, socials and, and what's the best place to interact? Like, you know, which one you use the most if they want to interact with you? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I was like, um, there are three or four songs. I really love it. And uh, I would perform every time. No, I'm, How I'm sorry. You think? I I, I said your your socials, like your social media, like your Instagram, your Twitter. Oh. You know. My tell social them, media? Yeah, tell them where they can find you online and, and which one's the best place to interact with you with. Um, let me think. I think Instagram. And and that's it. Uh, that's at me, well, baby. Well, you know, like like I say uh, before, I, I never really focus on the Western country. For example, do I have a YouTube? Yes, I have. Do I have Spotify? Yes, I have. But I, I never put the time on them to like try to, uh, like push them out, let people know it. You know, I just 
like put a video on okay i just live there and uh release a song there and i never like try to push that out but uh, from this year you know i just begin to put more time on that but instagram i always put my time on that always so people can see more photos more videos and they can see more my personality there um yeah yeah instagram definitely is the top yeah. one i want to share and her Instagram is I am Milla Baby. I A M M I L A B A B Y. I am I am Mila Baby. Yes, I I love Instagram. I I never told you yet. Like in China, all my social media are blocked. Are blocked. <laughs> uh, I cannot I cannot make a picture. I cannot post a picture. I cannot post a video. Just blocked because uh, they think my video or my picture are too much. So, well, but see that that, that 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 that's some body discrimination shit. Cause like the the shit they used to say about Nicki Minaj, right? About about her about her clothing, right? One yeah. one of the out one of the outfits that, that that they got all on her saying it was too revealing and too sexual. Taylor Swift mm -hmm. had that exact same motherfucking outfit on at the award show that yes. year. Yes, and, and no one and no one said oh shit. God. So, so if you're skinny, thank you, bring it, out. It, it, thank you, bring it, out. So if you're skinny, it's okay <laughs> to have a lot of body. Showing. Exactly. Oh God. You know, Th tell that me shit about is so that. You know, it's like so this. hypocritical. What what I like what I want to say is the same. Like uh, we have TikTok, right? China's TikTok. So when I wear exactly, I'm talking about exactly 100 percent same clothes with some like uh, like you say skinny girls or something, they have no problem. But me, no, this tree like uh, took the picture down or the video down and uh, they just blocked me, you know. You know, it's like a really same clothes only because they're skinny. So they can do it, but I cannot do it. I just don't understand this. And this just pissed me off. I just hate that. I, I mean, I can explain it to you real quick, easily. Men ain't shit. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's, I can't understand what their thinking come from. I can't understand men, that. Men, men, ain't, men ain't shit. And then those men that ain't shit are married to women who see their man looking at you and then they feel threatened. Well, true, true, but and, and that's know, unfortunate to, that you that, that you have to be victimized by people's insecurities. Well, they do whatever they do. I'm just trying to be myself, you know, and I definitely won't try to change myself or make any people happy. And uh, that's what I can do, you know. They block them, block. I'm yeah. right now. I'm just focused on uh, Instagram and um, uh, because you know when people go to my Instagram, you really see the real me, like uh, all the words I put there put it under my picture or something or like uh, the video I post the picture I post you know that's real me that's what I like to wear that's what I like to speak that's what I want to post that's my personality you really can get to know me from my social media I like that way I really like uh, my fans go there then okay this is Mila you know it's like that it's so simple and easy I don't like it to explain so much or like uh, try to fake something you know right. that's just real me yes yeah and no, I, I i can tell that like like that's just like slices of your life like you ain't curating that shit like trying to make things look bigger than what they are like like, like that's one thing i yeah. appreciate about you all the way around is the honesty as a person mm -hmm. and an artist yeah i i like the easy thing i like the simple thing i'm so lazy to try to do something like like in too much work you know yeah i can dig it well yeah I, 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 I've certainly enjoyed this. Um, uh, thank you for teaching me some things. I, I would definitely, when the new project thank comes you out, uh, my English. <laughs> oh, no doubt, no doubt. But when the new project comes out, I would love to have you back on the show. Oh, definitely. Actually, this song already out. So right now, we're working on the um, cover and uh, the music video already made. We shoot the music video in Pennsylvania. So yeah, everything is ready right now. Just waiting for the cover, and then we just boom, release it. And I'm gonna work on another two beats. Those two beats will be a big job for me because uh, I really like the producer. But right now, I don't want to mention the producer yet. But people can say that in my Instagram, of course. So that would be my very big job to do. Got you. Well, I, I look forward to it, and, and thank you so much for your time, and and, and I hope you can uh, you. manage to stay entertained up in that hotel room for yeah quarantine. I'm already enjoy this talking. It's very good. 
Yeah. Well, thank you, and I and I, and I hope you have a great day. You too. I hope you have a great. Actually, right now it's morning there, right? Yes. I, yeah. I, I got up for you. First time I ever did that, but yeah, but but it, but it was well so worth happy. it. I feel so happy because I I I'm a lazy person. I have to sleep very late, like twelve hours every night. So I get up very late every day. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with that, do you? All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I hope I can see you next time. I'm soon. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. All right. Peace. Okay.